Anybody who's never watched someone die has a pretty bad case of virginity. For 12 months, I watched my father die when I was 10 years old. He had just got back from the Spanish War, and certain God-fearing gentlemen had made such a mess of him that he didn't have long to live. Everybody knew it. Even I knew it. But I was the only one who cared. His family was embarrassed by the whole situation. Embarrassed and irritated. As for my mother, she could only think of the fact that she had allied herself to a man who always seemed to be on the wrong side in all things. <sighs> she was happy associating with minorities, but only the smart and fashionable ones. We all just waited for him to die. His family sent him a check every month and hoped that he would do it quietly without too much vulgar fuss. And my mother took care of him without complaining, and that was all. Perhaps she pitied him. I suppose she was capable of that. <sighs> Every time I sat on the edge of his bed and listened to him talking and reading, I had to fight back tears. After 12 months, I was a veteran. All that pathetic failure of a man had to talk to was a small, frightened boy. I spent hours and hours in that bedroom, and he would talk to me for hours, pouring out his life to one lonely, bewildered boy who could barely understand half of what he said. You see, I learned early on about anger, anger and helplessness, and I can never forget it. I knew more at 10 years old about love, betrayal, and death than you will probably ever know in your entire life.